So I came home and crashed on the couch from 10.30 to 2. Woke up and wound up texting back and forth to Karen for oh, about two hours. At the very end, I'm like, I need to go back to bed. I just fed Omar. And, um, I sent Karen more auntie texts. You know, they we're still on the auntie who liked me. By the way, like I said, Joe believes in divine justice. And if auntie has any kind of health problems or whatnot, I don't give a flying fuck. I told Karen all about, just like I told you guys all about, how Auntie became best buddies with this old, crazy, lonely man who lost his wife, who had been Auntie's friend. Yeah. Even when I was, you know, taking seriously, and obviously she never was, I took seriously my, you know, fledglings. Come on up! Up! Come on! Come on! Come on up! Come on! Come on, you can jump up! Come on, you've done it before! I know it's dark! Anyway, I took seriously my fledgling pseudo-friendship with Auntie. So, of course, I kept myself as you do. I'm a up! Come on up! You can't be anything wrong. You don't have a leash on. You can't be attached to anything. Come on up! Come, come on up! Come on! Up! Come on! What's wrong? Come on! Come on! Oh my A! Come on! She'll be going crazy on me, Omar. I can't deal with it. I'm struggling not to go crazy myself. Anyway, fledgling pseudo friendship with Auntie I took seriously. Clearly, she did not. She was just waiting for the opportunity where she could stab me in the back and reclaim, reclaim the power she'd lost over my mom. The long-time power she'd had over my mom that she lost in 2014 because of me. Uh, she would say it is because of me. We'll, we'll just say that, but we know it's not just because of me. It's because of everything. You know? But anyway, yeah. You know, just like you do with, with so-called friends or whatnot, you keep silent about things, even things like you don't approve of. Maybe they they do something you don't like or they cheat on their husbands or boyfriends or whatnot, but you still value the friendship for what it is. So obviously I would never... Now I will. Now I'll figuratively rip her apart over it because her sister was crying to me and I'm not making it up. All she cares about is him. So she, my mom knew, too. You think my mom believed in that? My mom was, was smart enough. My mom was savvy enough to see right through it. And she also was her because she's like, all he care, she cares about is him. So she, she spends time with him and not, you know, that's my little bitch to me about her sister doting on this old, crazy, lonely man, of course. I think for a little over a year or whatever. Yeah, and it, like she didn't get anything out of it in the end, peeps. Oh, but he's her good friend. Yeah. Auntie's going to do this to me and take my mother away from me and go behind my back and do all this shit. I will figuratively rip her apart in front of the world, okay? Then she has the nerve to hang the fucking note where she's talking about shutting off the utilities on, on me and whatnot. It's only fair and blah, 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 whatever. And she pings them with Christmas cookies. Yeah. And remember what she says, said to me when we were in the middle of that case? I could get a hundred people if I chose. Yeah. So what, Auntie? Thankfully, I'm grateful that there are people on this planet, you know, maybe that, that do see right through your bullshit. That I'm not the only one who sees right through it. And yes, my mother used to cry to me that all Auntie cares about is him. Okay? 
her good friend. My dear Fred, I know, but we don't see you going around befriending old crazy uh, men who are poor. <laughs> he was her good friend, yeah. She wasted no time in getting her son's girlfriend a wife or whatever, a nice cushy job with this good friend and, you know, taking care of him for like 1200 a week and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And again, like I said, she got way more out of it than she's even admitting because her whole thing is to look like the good person, but she does nothing out of the goodness of her heart, obviously, because she couldn't even agree to help her sister do the wrong, her poor sister. As in, had no money, you know. And Auntie's excuse to me was, well, I put in a thousand dollars for the lawyer just like your mom did, and nobody cares that I would have lost that if we had got nothing out of the case. There was no guarantee, uh huh. Yeah, whatever, Auntie. I never condemned you for it. I thought it was great because my mom never would have had it. That's how I looked at it, but other people don't see it like that. They see it like when it was that much money, you shouldn't have taken half. You should have just... But you'd agreed, and that's what you're going to do. But, you know, you can never take the moral high ground with me. Not even for a second. You guys know how hurt I was over... Auntie's betrayal, you know, we need to, we need to, so I'm sending all the stuff to Karen, we need to be a team for the sake of your mom, and the second I don't bow down to her, oh, there goes that, we need to be a team, because she doesn't need me anymore and doesn't give a flying fuck, really, about my mom and us being a team for the sake of my fragile mother, clearly, okay, yeah. Auntie's one of those that when you don't look too closely, it looks like she's like being out. She's doing this and she's doing that for the good, but it's always she gets something out of it. Because when she needed me, oh yeah, then it's another story. But then when she doesn't need me and I don't kiss her ass, again, I, I was kissing her ass and letting her get a little digs and I told you all this crap but then when it came to my mom I was a fighter advocating you know and when auntie's not caring I'm like yeah you're some advocate for my mom you said you were going to be more of an advocate you're not if you bow down just 100% to the medical establishment you're not being any kind of advocate for my poor mother And now this is the bitch who has total power over my mom. And it should have been me. Unreal. But my mom chose it. And he offered her the Holy Grail. Trusting her to live alone when I was saying that she shouldn't live alone. So, you know, ever. Joe believes in divine justice, Auntie. And I know about your, I don't fucking care what happens to you. Again, you, you, you'd already hurt me when you, you, you shit all over our so called fledgling pseudo friendship that had been going on for over a year that alone should make anyone half a brain see right through your bullshit I'm not the only one who doesn't believe you're not going to be able to, quote, make your sister well again, unquote. Even though that's just the front, as far as Joe's concerned. But your sister is too fucking over-medicated. She's been on these segments for too goddamn long. They're pure poison. And they're what's killing her. And they're what's causing her fucking breakdowns. Not me. Fucking, ugh. It's been causing her breakdowns. It 
Karen, if you're watching it, the uh, watching this, the videos are gonna. I mean, the the texts are gonna get you know better. The we you know because we're gonna get into when Auntie completely changed because I crossed her. Of course, Karen's only getting the one side because I I'm not sending her the, my text. I'm just sending her the ones that Auntie sent to me. So I need to write down all the back and forth. I walked home in a major storm last night and while carrying groceries and of course I was <laughs> none too kindly thinking of Auntie the entire way. You can thank the bitch who thinks she's God, Omar, for all of this. I made a huge dent in uploading my videos. I still have quite a few to upload, though compared to how many I had. Um, and I'm watching them before revealing them, so... I mean, before publicly, you know, taking them off of private, so... There's still tons that you have not... Yeah, it's the long ones. Uh. Even on high speed, on 1.5, it still takes a long time to watch an 80-minute video, you know? So I watched some of the shorter ones, but have postponed watching the longer ones. I don't know how many I have to upload. Another ten, maybe? But I also have a ton to watch and take off private. I have diehard fans who can't get enough of my bullshit. But it's not bullshit. It's fucking... Pfft. I'm living it and it's not pleasant. Not even remotely. Not in one tiny iota of, a, of, of anything is this even remotely anything but hell. Okay? And I'm living it, so... Anyway, if there's people who can't get enough of my videos, and you know, you certainly have a lot to, to watch and absorb. All true. Windy and sleet in my face. Yep, I was thinking I'd do the whole way. A whole couple miles, give or take. Uh, thinking I did buy a little bit of food, like I said. 
I need things like, you know, snacks. I bought my coconut CG yogurt, which I can have, you know, as a snack with frozen blueberries and almonds, and, you know, a little bit of maple syrup, pure, you know, organic maple syrup, not, not that sugar water crap that people think is syrup, but I mean, it's not real syrup. So, you know, you know, like I said, I have to buy so food, but cut it way back. And I, like yesterday, I had my whey protein shake that I hadn't used that protein powder. I had it with my almond milk. I bought sour cream. Okay, sour cream so I could have with my, you know, I have tons and tons of beans, I told you. Probably have. If I have a hundred cans of beans, I ate them, but a lot of beans. Oh, hope I don't sleep. Sleeping, believe me, I'll sleep and go to the library for the last time. I need to mail to Joe that auntie letter. And she hung on the door. But she's fuming about, because she thought I would just, you know, remember that first thing, I'm shutting up the utilities, and then I asked her, that's when I first found out about it, and I was like, I was like, well, can you, what's one day? Can you just wait till I talk to my lawyer and see what my rights are? I'm shutting off the utilities Monday. And, and I'm also her, her conservator. You know, I said, her, she didn't say your mom. I'm also her conservator. Go fuck yourself, auntie. I bet you're fuming that you didn't shut off the utilities like you were supposed to, like you threatened to do. Mm. Three different times, two different times, but in more than one text, and then in the in the letter. For whatever reason, she didn't shut him off, or she's who knows why, but I'm sure she's pissed. Of course, she's pissed. Good, good. Get pissed. Get upset. Get stressed out. You deserve it for what you did to me. Backstabbing fucking bitch. I wasn't able to upload one of my videos I really wanted to upload, but I listened to it. And unfortunately, this is when I was recording, staying in that woman's car all day long for hours, and I was talking to the camera, what I, what I have better to do, try, I didn't really nap. Omar and I were just cuddled, and there was getting cold, or we had a blanket, but, you know, and uh, it's still going to be cold. You're in a car, but you're still outside. It's freezing, you know. It got colder as the day went by. I told you what's supposed to be a quick thing. Auntie and her helper was coming at 11. She was still fucking there after 3. Sickening. Anyway. I shut the camera off in time and the woman's voice was on there. So saying, you want me to go check and see if she's gone. So referring to Auntie. You know, I told you the woman did that for me all day long. And then enlisted the help of someone I didn't even know. Oh. to 
delete the video and I keep it on my camera, but I'm not in the situation where before if I couldn't do a video I could trim it and, you know what I mean? Although, I could listen to it. I could trim it. I could watch it on the... I could trim it. I can't do the whole thing where I just play it in the background and only play certain parts in it. That's what I could do in my old life, you know? I had my own computer. But I actually can go up to that point and at least have you have that part and trim it. I could do that. If I listen to it at the library on the, this, this, the memory card, you know, on the camera memory card, and then trim it at the library up to that point, then I could upload it. I could do that. the whole beginning shit. Alright, going to bed. Good night. Hopefully for hours. Good night. The Omar eats. He's happy. He's going to sleep at my feet. <laughs>